New Year's is right around the corner. I don't know if you got your plan in place, but I'm gonna give you four tips to help you stick to your New Year's resolution. I'm Tabitha Gomez and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to help all you busy ladies out there juggling jobs, careers, and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm gonna give you exercise tips, tricks, routines, and even product reviews to help make exercise a, a part of your life. So let's get to it. New Year's resolutions. Ooh, it's a big one. So yes, it's the time of year. New Year's is literally right around the corner. I know a lot of you have maybe bought some exercise equipment or pulled some old stuff out, dusted the dust and cobwebs off of it, and you're set with your plan. You know you're gonna do it this year. And I'm gonna help you make it. I will, we're gonna do it together, okay? I'm not giving you some New Year's plan that I'm gonna write up for you. No, I'm just gonna give you some tips to help you make it through your New Year's resolutions so that you do not fail. Tip number one, make a plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Make a plan, whether it's writing in a fitness journal, which I highly recommend that you um, get a fitness journal, you write your plan down, whether it's uh, your 30 minutes, 30 minute workout three times a week, etc. write it in your journal, plan what you're gonna do, um, get your measurements down, get your weight, and take a picture of yourself, put it in there and plan that either every two weeks or every month, you're gonna check on it and you're gonna see how you're doing. That will set you up for success. I know for me, having a fitness journal is, oh, extremely important. I love to look back at my past journals and see kind of what I was lifting in the past, how much I went to the gym. So if you set yourself up with a journal, you're setting yourself up with a plan. Put it on the calendar. This is my workout time. I'm going to do it. If that means you wake up early, extra early every morning to do it, then that's what you do. If you have an early dinner to work out in the evening, that's what you do. Just plan it. Plan it and use a fitness journal. Tip number two, don't go cold turkey. Don't go cold turkey. Just, this is more um, for food. Don't do it. That's a rough one. Like some people can work off of that and I have my phases where sometimes I like cold turkey, sometimes I don't. Um, I eat fairly healthy already, so going cold turkey for me means giving up the dark chocolate or the cookie. Um, or it might be just giving up a little extra carbs. But if you eat pizza, you drink soda, you uh, have candy bars all the time, if you go and you're eating fast food all the time, if you go cold turkey and you cut all of that out, you're gonna put your system into some serious shock. It will be good because you, if you make it over that hump, you're gonna feel fabulous. But the problem is making it over that hump. Um, especially like if you're, you're heavy into sugars, heavy into caffeine and you give it up cold turkey, you are going to slump so bad, you're gonna feel horrid. Um, and I'm not saying that this is an excuse to keep bad things in your diet. What I'm saying is you may need to take it piece at a time for your diet. So this month we're cutting out soda. Next month we're gonna cut out something else. But just because you cut something out this month doesn't mean to add extra of that other thing. Do what you can, but make it realistic. Don't just like, nothing, I'm gonna eat salads every day for every meal and that's it. <laughs> Tell me how that goes because I don't think I would last a week if I had to do it that way. Um, so don't go cold turkey, be realistic and set a plan. Like tip number one, set a plan and stick to that plan. Tip number three, start small. Start small, like I mean start small. We're not American Ninja Warriors here. Not yet at least, or maybe you are. Um, maybe you're watching this and you're aspiring. Start small. You're, we're not like gonna do some crazy things on January 2nd because we were good on January 1st. It's not gonna work that way. So once you've set your plan up, maybe your, your first week is you're gonna work out 30 minutes a day, three times a week. Well, then maybe your next step can be 
three times a week, but 45 minutes or four times a week, etc. But start small. Don't kill yourself right away because what you don't want to do is go into the gym, kick your butt for an hour. You do that five days a week and then you're like, on Saturday and you can't even move and you're sore from head to toe. You can barely walk up the stairs and you have no energy to do anything because you're in aching pain. You're going to quit if you're in too much pain. And when you start exercising again, after you haven't done it for a while, you will hurt. That's just the way it goes. So start small. Four, reward yourself. Reward yourself, reward yourself, like seriously. So this can be in the gym, this can be for eating habits, okay? So say you did good all week long and you're gonna have, I know everybody's heard the term cheat day. Um, there's a lot more science behind just having a cheat day, but for this purpose, we'll just say it's a cheat day, okay? So say you got your diet down and you've got a good plan and you know what you're sticking to, what you've given up. Well, you've been good all week. You made all three of your workouts or five of them or whatever you had planned for that week. You set up all your workouts. Give yourself a reward, whether that's a piece of chocolate or a glass of wine. Obviously, those would be my rewards. Um, whether it's after an evening uh, dinner and that's a glass of wine is your snack, like a glass of wine, not like a bottle of wine, right? Uh, small, normal glass, not a large glass. And then a piece of chocolate, a small piece of dark chocolate. That's the way I do it. Dark chocolate's really good for you. It doesn't have a lot of sugar. So those, if it can be whatever it is that you enjoy, but reward yourself. Like I did good today or I did good this week. I did so good this week, we're gonna go out and we're gonna have something that I would have normally bought every single day or ate every single day or done every single day, but because I was so good, we're gonna do it on Friday or Saturday or whatever it is, but reward yourself because something about that sense of accomplishment really sets people up for success. Um, it, it just, it makes you, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's a sense like, yes, I accomplished this, so now I'm rewarding myself with that. And hey, some people it might be monetary, like put a dollar in the jar or five dollars every time you work out and then go buy a new something. Who knows, but reward yourself, have fun with it. So I hope these tips were helpful for you to accomplish your New Year's resolutions. Remember, don't be so hard on yourself. Make a plan, don't go cold turkey, or not just don't go cold turkey, you could also say, make a plan, yeah. Really, that's what it is. Um, start small and reward yourself. Those are my four tips that I have for you to help you make it through your New Year's resolution, and I promise you, you can do this. If you make it past the first month and you're still going strong, that's good. I believe it's six weeks, they say, for someone to perform a habit. So if you can get yourself into a nice habit loop, this be can become a routine for the rest of your life. So aim towards that goal. Create a habit for yourself. Don't go crazy, like I said. Start small, make the plan, reward yourself, and you can create that nice habit loop that you need to succeed because that's what we want. We all want to see. In the comments below, if you have some hurdles, you know you're struggling to jump. Uh, maybe it's giving up bread or something else of the sort or an exercise you want to accomplish. If you have any hurdles you know you're going to be attacking in the new years, put it in the comments below. Tell me what that hurdle is and I will do my best to give you the best tip I can to help you leap over it and never see it again. It'll be in your rear view mirror and you'll never ever think about it again. So just let me know down in the comments below. But as always, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha.